Welcome back. This will be a short segment. We're just going to set up our workspace and keyboard shortcuts. Just a couple to make uh, life a little bit easier. You can see on the workspace here, I've got it fairly uncluttered. I'm going to go to Window, Workspace, Reset Palette Locations. So it'll be like when you first open up a file in Photoshop. And you can see this thing wants to attach itself like a remora. It and it's kind of uh, it's just stuff that just gets in your way. So any of these can be reached by going under this tab. So I don't need little icons for screwdrivers and whatnot cluttering up my workspace. So what you can and see how they retract and then all this business. So here's what you do: just start closing them out. Anything I'm not using almost continuously, I'm just going to close it out. And even the navigator, I'm going to use Control Plus and Minus and this in conjunction with the space bar to zoom, pan, and so forth. So I don't need that. Color, I don't need that because I can just double click to get the color thing here. I can double click down here. So we'll ditch that. All the swatches and styles, I can get to them only when I need them. But for 90% of what you're doing to develop a file in Photoshop, this is sufficient. You got your histogram, the info, in case you got to read any numerical values that would indicate clipping. And then under here, layers, channels, and paths. And then to zoom in and out, of course, you just control plus, control minus, control zero, fit to screen, and control alt zero gives you the 100% view. And you can use this in conjunction with this down here or just hitting the letter F on your keyboard which will maximize your space but not uh, leave a little menu. See if I hold the space bar it won't let me get any more than this. If you hit the letter F again it, it allows you to to move up and all over even to a corner of your image should I need to get into this area. And if you're in this area this is so that in conjunction with the tab key you can only have the actual content of your photo displayed. So we'll stay for most of the demo in this view. And there's one keyboard shortcut I'd like to show you that'll make life a lot easier. If you go under Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, it brings this dialog up and each one of these items corresponds to the menu items up at the top here. So we're going to go under edit and where it says step back we're going to set it like this undo redo because the way it's set up right now is if you hit control Z it goes back one if you hit it again it goes forward one which can be kind of annoying because if I make a mistake it might be buried a few you know a few steps back and I don't want to have to hold down three keys just to back up because that's the most basic thing you're ever going to do in Photoshop is go back in time a little bit. So under step back we can get this alt key out of the equation here just by hitting control Z on your keyboard and it remaps this keyboard shortcut. I'll click OK. And now from here on in if I make a mistake like let me just draw directly on my image something you wouldn't normally want to do if I make a mistake now I just hit control Z and it backs up but if I go too far back control shift Z gets me back forward again so between the two you can easily navigate up and down your history so that's it for basic housekeeping and workspace and keyboard shortcuts in the next segment we're actually going to start developing this file in Photoshop